When you say newsletter, it sounds like a dirty word when it comes to online business. And I think it's because people just don't want any more junk in their inbox, which I get. I don't want junk either. But Kajabi gives you the ability to create beautiful, powerful, and helpful newsletters if you think about them as a tool for, let's say, your membership or paid community. This is something that I have been adding to my membership in the last six months. It's been super beneficial to creating more connectivity, to reminding my members all the good stuff that's happening inside the community and becoming a dashboard of sorts that pops up in their inbox and adds value to them and points them in all the beautiful directions they can go. So what I want to do in today's tutorial is show you the newsletter format that I'm using inside of one of my memberships and show you all the things you should include in a newsletter and how to build one yourself to add value. Think of it as a value add for your paid community or membership or coaching program. If you don't already have Kajabi, consider signing up with my affiliate link below. I'm going to give you a 30-day free trial, which is more than double the, the free trial that Kajabi offers you on their website. Plus, I'll give you up to two free online courses. One you get the moment you sign up called Ready, Set, Kajabi. It'll show you how to use Kajabi and make money on the platform in those first 30 days. Plus, I sneak in a bonus module that includes all of my favorite secret ninja marketing tactics that I'm using inside of Kajabi. And then two, if you become a paying member of Kajabi after those 30 days, since it's an affiliate link, part of your payment comes back to support me and my channel at no cost to you. So my way of saying thank you is to give you another course, my three-step sales copy formula mini course. Super juicy. All the details are at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. You can click the link below. All right, so let's take a look inside of my dashboard here. And what I've got for you is a newsletter that um, we put out for my six-figure coaching community, which is my membership. It's a paid community of online business owners like you who have already launched their business uh, and they want to scale to make $100,000 a year or more in their online business. So this is a newsletter just for them. It's called The Landing Page, right? Genius idea. Someone on my team uh, came up with this name. So it's The Landing Page because, right, we all make landing pages in online business. Anyway, the thought was we've got this incredible membership. It has so much value to offer, but as all products go and all communities go, there's a small percentage of people who actually regularly log in and see all the good stuff happening inside the membership. And sure, we have a, a newsletter that goes out at the beginning of the month saying, hey, here's the new stuff this month, sort of like an announcement email. The idea was, what if we could curate and pull all the juicy stuff from out of the membership and put it into a beautiful newsletter and deliver it to their inbox. So they may not even log in, but they could still get value from the membership even if they didn't log in. So let me show you what it looks like in the different elements we've included to give you some ideas, right? So it's called the landing page. And then what we do is we do an issue number and we do the month. And we use, you know, the welcome first name code, right? So it'll say like, welcome, Graham. And we'll, we'll take a look at edit content here so we can take a look at it. We're going inside the builder. And you can see on the left, right, it's just a, a newsletter builder if you ever use their, their emails, right? So, and then there's the first section, which is called Graham's Corner. And this is a specific mini little nugget of wisdom is the way I describe it for my members. So it's just a note to the members. And I try to teach something valuable. So in this example, this one went out um, in May. And so we're, we're getting close to summer. So I said, look, summer's coming. You deserve to take a break. And I challenge people to take a real break this summer from their online business um, where there's no laptop, there's no social media. You're not an email. You're not doing any of that. And so there's just a little bit of a mini nugget, little suggestion, just something fresh. This isn't inside the membership, but sometimes I'm sharing a, a sales copy strategy or a promotional strategy or a mindset thing. A little little nugget from you, a personal note from you makes a big difference for your members, especially if it's just something unique because it is like the personal element of this long newsletter. Okay, then I do a, a highlight of this month's training. So we have what I call master classes every month. So the one that we are featuring that was in the community this month is all about segmentation, how to squeeze even more juice out of your offers. So I remind them, look, go watch the master class, which most of them probably haven't. But instead of just telling them, I pull out some of the things they're going to learn. So I bullet point 
exactly what they're going to learn. And sometimes I'll even just pull out one nugget and just teach it in like a paragraph really quickly. So they can actually learn something from the masterclass without even having to go watch the masterclass. And then of course, I'm going to link to it as well. Then one thing I try to do is pull out a discussion of the month. So I try to go into the community because there's, I want to emphasize engagement because the community is where they're going to get the most value out of the membership. And it's the same for your membership. If you do it right, that's where they're going to get the most value. So I try to A, remind them, hey, there's a community, which you're probably not joining, which you should. B, there's really smart people in the community, not just me. And C, here's specifically something that they were talking about this month that I think is really, really good. So Caleb had this really, really great question about pre-selling a course to validate the idea. So I'll screen grab the conversation that looks juicy and I'll screen grab some of the responses. So Lidge responded, Isabel responded. Um, and then A, they gain value because it's a great question. They get some of the community value without even being in the community. And then it encourages them to jump in. I'll link to that specific post in the community because it's a Kajabi community. I'll link right to the post. Like, why don't you jump in? Do you have anything to add to the conversation to remind them that you should participate and be a part of it? After that, I'll do member wins. So this is in general, if you have a community, have a topic prompt or section for your community um, that's all about sharing your wins. And, and, and you train your people and encourage them to share your wins. And so people are always sharing wins because I've trained my people to do this. So I'll screen grab some of the wins that I think are juicy uh, and I'll highlight it because A, I want the people who I share to feel special because they're getting a spotlight inside the community. And it, you know, when Graham, the mentor, or the coach, or the community manager is highlighting your win, that feels good. It feels good. So I want to bless them by, by saying, hey, I see your win and I think your win is amazing. A, or B, that was A, B, um, it reminds your other people that there are other members getting wins. They're having wins. They're having breakthroughs. So it's like social proof for a membership they're already a part of that might remind them, I should be getting wins, right? And I'm glad I'm a part of this community that I'm paying for every month because people are getting wins. That's sort of that validation of other people um, celebrating wins. And then three, it will train their brain to think, well, what wins have I had? Have I been having wins? Because A, maybe they have and they just haven't, articulated those wins, which is a lot of us. We're all having wins every single week, but we just, we move past them or we don't notice them. So it'll help them to articulate a win, which is a value add to themselves. And they're like, oh, I am getting wins. And that will have come from your community. And then D, it'll consider like pushing them to share their own wins, to add to this beautiful virtuous cycle. What's your win of the month? Big, small, jump in and share your win with all of us. So I'm telling them to share wins. Then I'll preview next month. This is a countdown timer um, that counted down to June. So this went out, we, I do this towards the end of the month. So this was sort of like the third or fourth week of, of May when this went out and had a countdown timer for next month's masterclass. Sometimes it'll be a secret. Sometimes I'll tell them exactly what it is. Um, to, so they're excited for what's coming next month, but you want to tease next month, depending on what you're trying to do. We're doing something special this summer. I'm calling it the six figure summer. I've got tons of content. Well, actually, we do, we do talk about it. Yeah. June, I was previewing. It's all about having how to build a transformational uh, course, like a course curriculum, pedagogy. How do you teach it? How do you make a course that actually gets people transformation? Um, and we had a guest expert with Jasmine Conti. So I'm previewing that. And then it's all themed together. July is, is a secret. And then August is a secret, but it's all super juicy this summer. So I made a theme for the summer. You don't have to do that, but I'm previewing what's coming next inside the community. A, to remind them that there's value. B, to get people excited. I love building hype for anything I'm doing. Getting people excited is always good. And then C, reminds them like, don't cancel. There's so much good stuff coming down the pipe. All right. And so I talk about that. And then there's just a reminder section. Look, our coaching call is on this date, this time. We have something called the members community call. And then we have a special event happening as well this month. This is kind of unique. At the very least, it's going to be when's your next live coaching training or coaching Q&A call happening. So all of this is inside the community, but I'm putting it together in one simple digestible email. What's so fascinating about this is when um, uh, one of my team members, Marcus, pitched this idea to me originally. He's like, I want to try this thing out. I said, hey, that's a great idea. Let's try it. The first month we did it, we got so many people saying, oh, this is great. This is great. People that are already active in the community, it just reinforced all the value inside the community. But then I had a handful of people say, you know what? This is so helpful for me because I'm so busy. I haven't been in the community the last couple of months. 
And then just this just reminds me all the good juicy stuff that's happening. And I can't wait to dive in. Thank you for for recognizing how busy I am and just hand delivering it to me in my inbox. And it's been transformative. The last six months, we've been doing it since the fall. It's been great for our people. So consider using a simple email newsletter to be a value add and a curation piece um, for your members. So here's how to do it. It's very simple. When you get into your back end, we'll go back here. You go to email campaigns, go to new email campaign, broadcast, And then you're going to want to choose either like a default one because we have, we've created a template now that we're using every week or start with one of their templates here. It can be really visual or it can be really simple. You could start with literally share a newsletter. So you can see what this looks like. It's going to be headline, section, image, section, buttons. I would start with something as simple as this. Then when, it, when you build it, test newsletter. You'll choose who it goes to, and it could be the people that are just your, your members. So in this case, it could be 6FC members. You choose the name, you know, your internal title, the subject title, the preview text. But this is where you can actually then edit the actual newsletter itself. Now you're in the newsletter builder, so you can rearrange the sections. You can add new sections. For example, you can add videos, buttons, logos, countdown timers, dividers, announcements, whatever you want to add. It shows you what it looks like, right? This will be an announcement, new content just added. It's like a big bar, right? Image and text. You can see what that section looks like. Divider, it's just a line, countdown. You need an event to select it to, and you just create an event, time it up. Build the, the newsletter the way you want, and once you've got one sent, then you can clone that or duplicate it for the next month's newsletter and just update the information and change it. Make it look as juicy or as simple as you want. All I recommend is that you send one a month. I think that's a sweet spot for this kind of curation newsletter. Remember, you're reminding your members of all the value inside of the membership that they're paying for, and you're doing them a favor by pulling it out of the membership and putting it into their inbox directly so they don't even have to log in. Make sure they actually learn something from the email, from the training. Make sure they learn something from the discussion of the month. Make sure they get encouraged by the wins that you're celebrating and get them to think about what wins have they had. Remind them of upcoming dates on the calendar, what are, what's happening inside the life of the membership and just point them to everything linked directly to it. Make it as convenient and as valuable for them as possible and have a personal note that teaches them something that just shows them that you care about them and that you are for them and you want them to win and you're not just collecting a paycheck from them every month now that they're in. You are still serving them and servicing them as a member of your highly exclusive paid community. There you go. There's newsletters inside of Kajabi. It's a real simple thing. It's an email campaign, but a way to rethink about using it in maybe a fresh way. If you haven't already signed up for Kajabi, like I said at the top of this video, consider using my affiliate link below to get an extended free trial and up to two free courses and my undying love and support, which is priceless. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing day. Have fun building some newsletters for your members inside of Kajabi.